Hello, Peter. What's happening? Um, I'm gonna need you to go ahead and come in tomorrow. So if you could be here around nine, that would be great. Okay. One of the best work movies of all time. Are you always staying late or coming in on your off days? Turns out a lot of people tend to follow their boss when it comes to being a workaholic. So how can you show that you are a hard worker without pulling all-nighters every single day at work? Joining me this morning, Dr. Mamie Hall, workplace psychologist. Always good to see you. Appreciate My you coming pleasure. in. A lot of people deal with this on a daily basis. Mm -hmm. So you're going to start with the beliefs yes. that these workaholic bosses have. What do they think? First of all, they think they're the hero, that they're saving the day. You know, that's really important. Important. Also, many of them think that their boss expects them to work long to hours. They also think that by doing this, they're showing that they're successful. And they also think that if I work hard, boy, I'm setting the pace for everybody else in the office. It's almost like a trickle-down effect, isn't it? Because it, your boss works harder, because they think their boss works harder, because, and it trickles down to everybody. It truly does. And then everybody thinks that they have to work these long hours, and they're wondering why they're tired, why they're making mistakes and why it's not working. But does your boss really expect you to be a workaholic like them? You know, a lot of times that's a false conclusion that we make. We think that because they work long hours that we're expected as well, and we never ask. We just make the assumption, we get grumpy, we complain, oftentimes not to the person who can make a difference, and then wonder why our lives aren't changing. I read this last night. Praise goes down, complaints go up. There's no sense complaining down because the people down can't do anything about it, right? Exactly, exactly. All right, this next one here, you say there are things you should not do when working for a workaholic. What are the things you don't do for these people? One of the things you don't do is sneak out. And that's a big thing that we find that people do that. Well, I'm just going to sneak out when he's not looking. And, and do exactly the opposite. About an hour before you're meant to leave, go to your boss, talk to them and say, I'm going to be leaving in an hour. Is there anything that needs to be done that can be done in this last hour? That way in their mind, they know you're going to be gone so they can't complain later. Hey, where were you? Exactly. Exactly, exactly. The other thing is don't whine oh, and, or complain or grunt or groan. Talk about it. Do I really need to stay the hour? Do I need to be able to be there at all hours or can I get it done during my regular work hour? Do workaholics get it though that other people have a personal life, that they want to be there with their family or I mean, it could be completely different in their mm -hmm. life, right? It's true. Some people really enjoy working. Some people do want to escape their home life. But what they have to realize is that they, too, are workaholics, and they are setting the pace. And as a result, their people around them are unhappy, making mistakes, and as a result, being less productive as opposed to being more productive. Okay, you keep saying it starts with a conversation, that you need to, to have yes. that discussion with your boss. Mm -hmm. How do you have that conversation without it sounding like you're a slacker? Exactly the opposite. Say, I want to fill, fulfill your expectations. Let's talk about what are my objectives, what are my goals, and how long we need to do to make this work. And to realize the fact that when you're working with a workaholic, show a bit of intensity, show a bit of uh, go get itness, and, and say to them, you know, I want to do a good job, and, not a but, and I have a personal life, and I want to make sure that we can get both of our uh, goals accomplished. Not good to say, I'm as effective in five hours as you are in 12. Absolutely not. Okay, just okay. making sure. <laughs> just need to throw that out there. Yeah, no. <laughs> What's your website in case people want to check you out? It's hullonline.com, H-U-L-L-O-N-L-I-N-E.com. Always good to see you. Appreciate My pleasure. Your time today. Thank Great you. Great stuff. All right.